The trimming curve tools can be found on the NURBS toolbar as well as the patch edit context toolbar. Either one opens a curve drawing context bar. Trimming curves are limited to those you create with the draw tools that are covered in tutorial number two, NURBS curve editing. Before beginning to draw, right click any curve tool and turn on the all handles option in NURBS curve options. You need to be able to see when a control might touch an edge. TrueSpace will warn you by coloring the curve red when this happens. It's best to move a bit more slowly than usual when manipulating trim curves. Let the program respond to changes. It's a good idea to save your work in stages when using a lot of trimming curves so that you can go back only as far as needed. If you have trouble selecting a control point on the edge of an object controller, press the control key just long enough to grab the point instead of the controller. You may even want to turn off the 3D controls temporarily while using trimming tools. Choose File, Preferences, and uncheck the 3D Controls box. Now trim controls are a little easier to manage, but you don't have any of the view or object controllers to use. Choose which side of the curve is trimmed by selecting either the Inside or Outside tool. Also, points will snap to object edges. You can have multiple trims on one patch, but of course inside-outside must affect all trim curves the same. It's best to pay attention to control handles and try not to let them intersect between different curves. Find the start curve of any closed curve patch. This is the edge of the patch and you can trim it like any other edge. And like any edge, if a control bumps into it, it'll stop your curve drawing. It's also good to know where this is so that you know how to place your points. The curve will tend to flip to the back side if you cross this hidden edge. Here's a little two point slice trick. Drag the second curve point until it flips to the back side and then join it to the first point. More typical use would be to draw a series of controllable curve points around the object. If you run into trouble, use a technique we call stick and move. Hesitate after each point placement and check your position in another view window. Then, while the mouse button is still depressed, reposition the point as needed to keep the point on the intended side of the model. Trimming curves are useful as source and destination curves for the blend tool. Remember that when using the stitch tool, trims can only be destination curves. Trimming curves will follow any patch surface changes created by editing tools. Also, trim curves will be deleted if you cut across them with the scissor tool. All the original ISO curves are still present and can still be edited and animated. Special effects can be created with the trim tool, such as open-close and disappear-reappear surface animations, such as this.